Nearly $200 million warehouse for Amazon could be headed to Central Texas. San Marcos is offering a 40% property tax break to lure one of Amazon's fulfillment centers and with it, hundreds of jobs. KXAN's Phil Prazen is live in San Marcos where that deal could be sealed tonight. Phil? Well, in just a few hours, we'll find out if Amazon.com will be moving here to Hayes County. According to public records, what Amazon would get is big tax breaks, and they'd get more if they were successful. What San Marcos would get is 350 jobs, around $20,000 to $25,000 a year. This is just another example that San Marcos might not be the sleepy little college town that it once was. Okay, so how many people are going to be living? Cody Lewis you? has a front row seat to the growth. Working at Apartment Pros, he says the last few years he's seen rent prices steadily rise all over the town of 60,000 people. San Marcos itself is in between Austin and San Antonio, two of the biggest cities in the nation. So that's where the jobs are at, that's where people are moving. Apartment Pros say they can get somebody in a three bedroom, two bath apartment for around 1300 If you buy a house around the same size, expect to pay a little less. Rate of growth is what I don't think we ever anticipated. Mayor Daniel Guerrero says the top things on his mind are more roads, more water, and more public safety. As San Marcos starts dealing with big city questions. Where am I going to work? How am I going to be able to afford to live in San Marcos? And where are my children going to go to school? So that's been the partnership that we've had with the school district, with the university, with the county. He says encouraging the building of more single family homes will help in a city that's already flush with apartments. A lot of new apartments that have been built in the past couple years. And new homes and new businesses in a city with no signs of slowing down. And call me. Yeah. <laughs> this is the third year in a row San Marcos has been ranked the fastest growing city in the country with more than 50,000 people. And find out what happens here tonight at 9 and 10 on KXAN News. Live in Hayes County, Phil Prazen, KXAN News. And one job search website gives you a closer look at the jobs at the Amazon warehouses, also known as fulfillment centers. According to Indeed, the average worker at an Amazon fulfillment center earns almost $12 an hour. There's also a range of comments about the job. Just last week, an employee complained there are short breaks, no benefits, and 10 hours of work without air conditioning. Another said, if I were 20 years younger, I would continue with Amazon. However, my knees were unable to take the excessive walking and stairs. But another employee said they loved the job. There are a lot of new faces and different things every day.